Hey, how's it going? Patrick Mitzwing here, and I'm with TikTok, uh, Instagram superstar, Mr. James Jones. You might know him at, as Notorious Cree, and I got him here uh, with me today, and we wanted to ask him a few questions. You know, he does a lot of promotion of indigenous uh, culture on his social media channels. So, James, hopefully uh, you're doing good today. I'm, uh, you know, super happy to, to have you here today. You know, um, a lot of subscribers that we have here are educators, people who work in school division. And I wanted to ask you, you know, what is some advice you can give these uh, educators who might not have a lot of indigenous foundational knowledge? Uh, what's some advice you can give them as educators? Uh, well, one of the most important things I think as educators what you can do is you can follow actual indigenous educators you know you can find a lot of really good knowledge keepers and people who spread you know really good education on these platforms like TikTok Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, like there's so much really good information and just really up to date, really amazing, um, you know, influencers and creators who are sharing their stories, they're sharing mm -hmm. their journey and doing it in a good way. So I think following these creators, you know, using hashtags um, for certain things that are happening in your area and just keeping up to date with it, I think it's really important to do that mm -hmm. as well as reaching out to indigenous creators and you know, allowing them to use your space to teach, allowing them to use your space to, you know, spread awareness and talk about, you know, what's going on in their communities or, you know, just educate in their own way um, mm -hmm. within your space. So I think that's a really good way as well. Yes, creating that space for people to come in who are indigenous, who can share some of their knowledge that they have. Uh, another thing is that, you know, some of these teachers, they're just starting their journey to learning about indigenous education. Um, is there any, like, path that you suggest they go on i know you said to follow indigenous uh content creators online maybe is there like certain books or a certain path that you suggest for a non-indigenous educator to go on to learn this stuff yeah as well as like exactly you know uh, you know aside from following uh, indigenous content creators there's a lot of really good authors out there there's a lot of really good educational movies out there as well so just doing research and you know d depending on whatever subject it is um, whether it's land rights, whether it's treaty rights, whether it's MMIW, you know, there's a really amazing books, um, videos, educational stuff out there. And uh, just putting in the work and looking for it and uh, doing that kind of research will really help. Awesome. Great, great advice. Uh, another thing I want to say is, let's say there's an uh, educator out there and they have a classroom full of non-Indigenous kids and they're non-Indigenous as well. And they have this kind of thought like, why should they teach indigenous education when the whole classroom there's nobody indigenous why should they learn this stuff why is it important well i think it's extremely important because for one you know we always have to acknowledge where we are like which land we're on the territory we're on and like the tribes mm -hmm. and the people and the history of that land you know so i think it's really important to regardless if there's indigenous kids or not i think it's really important to teach and share that knowledge with them so they can have a better relationship you know with the land around them with the mm -hmm. tribes around them um, and then we can move forward together as allies awesome i got one thing maybe i could add to that as well like you know people who are in canada right if they're irish if they're chinese or whatever religion they are or whatever eth ethnicity they are if they came to canada and they completely lost their culture what could they do to, to get it back, right? They could go back to their home country to learn their language back, their songs, their dances, all that back. Mm -hmm. But for an indigenous person, right, if we're here and we completely lost our language, our culture, our dances, where can we go? Where can we fly to to get that, that knowledge, right? There's nowhere we could go. It's, it's embedded in this land. So it's our job as treaty people, right? You're a treaty person, we're treaty people that we do our best that we re re retain this knowledge and that we're, it's here because it's embedded from this land and there's nowhere we can go to get it back if we lose it mm -hmm. right so it's so important for you and for us to, to learn as much as we could so we could pass on these stories and knowledge with that James thank you so much for being a part of this video sharing a little bit of your your energy your mm -hmm. good your good love uh, what we can say Sagitina wow means we love you all James all right. thank you so much brother thank you Exomago everybody Buddy, means see you down the line. See you later.